Welcome to Mega Build Insider, the channel where we take you deep inside the world's most ambitious engineering marvels and futuristic infrastructure, and today we're uncovering a project. So audacious it pushes the very limits of what humanity can build nestled in the icy crown of the world in a region of mystery, majesty, and geopolitical tension, lies a river so wild, so powerful that it has both awed explorers and inspired engineers. It is here, amidst the snow-laced spires of the Tibetan Plateau that China plans to carve its name into the history of megastructures with a $100 billion hydroelectric project that may well become the most powerful dam on Earth. This isn't just an engineering endeavor, it's a test of nature's fury of political nerve and of technical genius, because what's being proposed is more than a dam, it's a vision to bend the forces of one of the world's highest, most dangerous, and most sacred rivers into a tool that could power entire nations, and reshape regional power dynamics forever. This river known as the Yarlung Songpo is the highest major river in the world. Born in the glaciers of western Tibet, it cuts a sinuous path across the rooftop of the world and then plunges thousands of meters downward into one of the deepest gorges on Earth, before turning sharply and re-emerging as the Brahmaputra River in India and finally flowing into Bangladesh. Its route is more than just majestic, it's strategic, it fuels life agriculture and economies for millions along its banks, and any change to its flow could send shockwaves across Asia, both literally and diplomatically for decades. China has been a nation obsessed with energy, driven by its meteoric rise into an economic superpower, and burdened by a population of over one per billion, its energy. Needs have ballooned to staggering proportions more than double that of the United States, and eight times greater than Russia, and to fuel this hunger, China relied heavily on coal, cheap, abundant, but environmentally devastating. However, the winds are shifting, and with the country's commitment to reach carbon neutrality by 2060, the pivot to renewable energy has become not just an environmental necessity, but a strategic imperative. Enter hydroelectric power, long considered the backbone of China's renewable strategy. It already accounts for nearly 20% of the nation's power supply, and this reliance has birthed a frenzy of dam building over the last seven decades. China has constructed over 20,000 hydroelectric installations, including the iconic Three Gorges dam the largest of its kind in the world. But now, China is looking beyond what's been done before its eyes fixed on the raw, untapped ferocity of the Ark. Sangpo River, the region they've selected, is as beautiful as it is brutal. The eastern edges of the Tibetan Plateau, near a place ominously called the Great Bend, here the river makes. A dramatic U-turn around the peak of Namha Barwa descending, rapidly through a gorge that is deeper than even the Grand Canyon. This is a region of myths, gods and monsoons, a place sacred to locals and terrifying to builders, and yet this is exactly where China plans to break new ground, quite literally, with what could become the largest hydroelectric power plant the world has ever seen. The proposed mega dam is expected to generate an unbelievable 60 gigawatts of power, that's three times the output of the Three Gorges Dam, and nearly equivalent to the combined energy output of many smaller nations, but to achieve this vision, China must confront some of the most unforgiving conditions on the planet. The construction involves carving a colossal water diversion tunnel through the heart of Namha Barwa itself, a Himalayan behemoth standing over 7,000 meters high. The idea is to reroute the river through the mountain dropping at thousands of meters so that its kinetic energy can be unleashed onto turbines. Buried deep on the other side, it's a concept that combines brute force with delicate precision, a balancing, active advanced tunneling seismic engineering, hydrodynamics, and sheer willpower. However, ambition comes at a cost, and this particular project may be entering one of the most dangerous zones for such a colossal undertaking. The Yarlong Sangpo Gorge lies along the convergence point of the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates, making it one of the most seismically active areas on Earth. Massive earthquakes have rocked this region in the past, including a magnitude 8. Six quake in 1950 that devastated large parts of northeastern India, and building anything here, let alone a super dam would require engineering. So robust that it could survive some of nature's most violent convulsions, but it's not just the earthquakes that haunt this stream. The region is also prone to enormous landslides, especially due to melting glaciers which are only worsening due to climate change. In March 2021, a melting glacier triggered a massive ice and rockfall that hurtled nearly 4,000 meters down to the river, partially damming the Yarlong Songpo and causing dangerous backflow upstream earlier that year in India's Uttarakhand. Another glacier collapse caused a dam break that killed dozens and wiped out two power plants. These events are not hypothetical. They're cautionary tales of what can go wrong when humans challenge nature in such volatile zones and with the scale of land clearing and construction needed for China's Himalayan Dam. These disasters could become more frequent and more devastating, yet despite the risks, the Chinese government is pressing forward investing 
billions into feasibility studies, groundwork, and logistics not just because of energy needs, but because of the river's deeper value, the geopolitical power it holds you. See this is not just a river, it is a weapon, or at least it could be in the eyes of neighboring countries. Once the Ar Sampo enters India, it becomes the Brahmaputra, a lifeline for millions in northeast India and Bangladesh. It nourishes farms, feeds communities, and sustains fragile ecosystems. Any attempt to dam it, divert it, or slow its flow, raises alarms across borders and especially in India where historical tensions with China have never truly cooled the region where the dam is proposed lies. Just miles from the line of actual control, a disputed border that has been a flashpoint for decades with military. Skirmishes flaring up most recently in the Gowan Valley in 2020, leading to the first combat deaths between China and India in over 45 years India fears that China's dam could be used as leverage in future conflicts or worse, as a strategic chokehold. Controlling the river's flow during crucial growing seasons or floods could wreak havoc downstream, and the lack of transparency in China's planning has only worsened these fears in response. India is planning its own hydropower defense, a massive 10 gigawatt dam in Arunachal Pradesh aimed at counterbalancing any upstream control. China might exert, but it's not just India that's concerned Bangladesh. Two, relies heavily on the Brahmaputra and any disruptions in sediment flow, water levels, or flood cycles could drastically affect agriculture, fishing, and daily life for millions in the Delta region. So while the Chinese dam promises nearly unrivaled power output, it comes wrapped in layers of geopolitical tension, environmental risk, and ethical debate, should one country be able to exert such control over a river that sustains several nations? Should engineering dreams override environmental warnings in sacred landscapes? These are the questions that the world is beginning to ask, as this project edges closer to reality, and yet from a purely engineering standpoint, what China is attempting, borders on the mythical tunneling through some of the world's tallest peaks to harvest energy, from some of the most volatile forces of nature on Earth, all while dealing with freezing temperatures, unstable geology, and near impassable terrain, is a challenge that only the boldest nations would attempt, and if successful, this mega dam will not just supply clean power to millions. It will symbolize a new era in China's infrastructural dominance and global influence. But for all its promise and potential, it remains an open question whether the risks will ultimately outweigh the rewards. Will the project survive the geological volatility, the international backlash and the sheer force of the river it aims to tame or will it become a cautionary tale of ambition unchecked? Only time will tell. What's clear is that this Himalayan mega dam is more than just concrete and steel. It's a convergence of climate, geopolitics, energy, and ideology. It's where the dreams of progress meet the wrath of nature and the friction of politics and whether you see it as a beacon of innovation or a disaster in the making. It will be one of the most important engineering stories of the 21st century. If you found this story fascinating, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Mega Build Insider, where we decode the world's most ambitious infrastructure projects and uncover the incredible feats of engineering shaping our future. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new episode and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Is this mega dam the energy breakthrough the world needs, or is it a ticking time bomb hidden in the Himalayas? Until next time, keep building curiosity.